We're back with more Super Mario RPG. This is part six. It is now time to enter the force maze to follow Gino and find out exactly what he's up to. And at the same time, we're also going to try and put a stop to the arrow rain that's bombarding Rose Town. And for the record, no, I'm not going to be saying like Chugga Conroy or Nintendo Capri Sun. In fact, we got a lot of things to cover here. Starting with our first surprise box and a Kiro Kiro Cola. At the same time, you remember how I bought those able juices from the store? Well, we're going to be encountering a lot of status ailments. That is, if these enemies actually get enough shots in on us. And yes, I am trying to jump on the wheeler because if we do, it can pay off big dividends. You can get coins out of them. If you jump on a wheeler ten times, you can get frog coins. But for now, let's fight! To tell you the truth, wigglers are not the most friendly of enemies in this game. In fact, early on, they can be rather troublesome. Even just a single one like this guy. If you hit him with a physical attack, he will increase his attack power. And go straight on the offensive. Even blocking that, look how much it took off. But this should finish him off. Pop goes the caterpillar. Yeah! Three per, not bad. And ten coins. Also not bad. Anyway, into the underground we go. As you can see, there's a bunch of mushrooms you can pick up out in the open. Actually, having said that, let's use one. Probably pick... Ooh, and watch out for the fakes. But you know what? Let's fight him. Ooh, and an ugly sucker too. I could probably take this guy with one properly time jump. Look out below! Yeah! Nice! And these mushrooms are actually quite aggravating. Like so, they're actually double dipping. They should take you down. Yep. And now, you go fry. Why do these guys keep double dipping? That's not fair. But I still win. <laughs> and if I haven't said it for a while, I'll say it again. Yeah! I hate mushrooms! Out of my way. I hate those rats. They're very annoying. They always get up in your face and poison you and shit. And the deeper you go into the forest, the more you will see arrows fall. Case in point. At the same time, there's another surprise box right here, containing a frog coin. And another enemy. A bee. And Donkey Kong, it seems. No, but no seriousness, this guy is actually named Gorilla. And yes, his sprite does kind of look like Donkey Kong from the Donkey Kong Country games, but it's not him. Yeah, I went after the bee first because he is prone to running away. And as we all know, if enemies run away, it costs you experience. Oh, shit. Even Blocky takes off that much damage. Not good. Not good at all. Come on, take this monkey down. Whew. That was Blocky. Goodbye. Yeah, he is a tough banana to, to peel. That's for damn sure. Anyway, let's be on our way. Now, in here is a section of hollowed out tree stumps. And a few of them are surprise boxes. Let's find them. But first, I'm gonna jump on this wiggler. Get as many coins as I can. Oops. Alright. Let's take out the trash. Look out below! Maybe a thunderbolt will shock him into submission. Nope. That did it. Nice. Actually, I don't think I've shown that off yet in the LP. Well, no time like the present. Lucky will give you the chance to double either your experience points or your coins. This time it's the coins. I'll challenge the system. Where's Yoshi? What? I was watching the screen. He stopped right there. Come on. I demand a do-over. But it is just coins, so no biggie. 
And Mal is at level 6. How nice. And for reaching level 6, he learns Psychopath, a move which will tell you how much HP an enemy has left. And if you time it right, you'll get an interesting little thought bubble. And at level 6, he gets an attack boost. Very nice. You know, that was actually pretty good, so let's try that again. You little jerk off! Are they all gonna hide now? Ah, oh, whatever. We've got secret boxes to find, so let's find them. Okay, so the first one is right here. There it is. The melon B! Yes, got it! Bye bye! I always find it weird how whenever you're on a trampoline, the bee will not even fight you. Well, I guess it is what it is, I guess. Right, now the next one is right up here. Oh! Yeah, that one's always empty. And the last secret box is right at the end, in this stump, right here. But you have to be very, very careful. There's a wiggler sleeping. You don't want to wake him up. Okay, so right about... There we go. Kiro Kiro Cola. But in all honesty, you can't sneak past the wiggler to get the box, but you need to wake him up to open the way. So now, we get to be dicks to this guy! Woohoo! Ask and you shall receive. Okay. So we're about halfway through the forest now. One more underground tunnel to traverse, and we should be in the actual maze part. At the same time... You know, it's been a while since we've seen these guys, so... Might as well take them out. There's one down. Nice. Take them all out, Mario. Bad rat. Well done, you two. Well done. That's teamwork at its finest. Alright, let's be on our way. Okay, how much further do we gotta go? Oh, not that much further. Right here. Okay. Just beyond the save point is where the maze begins. Also, our last hidden box of the forest, a red essence. This is actually a ridiculously powerful item to have this early on. I'll show you exactly what it does. Oh, there it is. It pretty much gives you three turns worth of invincibility during a fight. So if I use this in the boss fight coming up, I would be perfectly fine. No status ailments, no damage, no nothing! Anyway, in this part, this is the part with four exits. Remember what that guy in Rosetown said about the secrets and treasure? Well, let's do, let's do what he said and follow those directions. So first we go left, take another left, Go straight. Oops. Help me. Really now? A bunch of cheap wads. Don't poison Mallow. And you? That's for poisoning me. Nice. That'll come in hand for the stupid mushroom. Oh, never mind. We're good as is. Okay, so now we go here. And finally, we take a right. Ah, there it is. Now, I'm not entirely positive, but I think each time you go here, or from save file to save file, it's different. Five coins. A flower. A full healing mushroom. Four more coins. Five more coins. And a frog coin. How nice. And if I'm not mistaken, I think we only gotta battle one more time in order to get Mario leveled up, so let's take a quick look at our status. Full more experience, so one, two more at most. But we gotta find Gino. We saw him in here. There he is. And you gotta be very careful. As I was saying, you have to be careful because in here. Oh yeah, arrows are falling and you can get hit. Granted, they won't damage you, but it'll just hold you up. You 
little jerk. I sent you to burn! Ah, wise guy, eh? Eat stick. There we go. Perfect. Just what we needed. And with that, Mario is at level 6. And we learned Super Jump. This attack is going to come in handy for the boss fight. And just like Mallow, attack goes up. So let's move. And let's keep on going. And there we go. But before we go in, let's make sure we're well prepared. Yep. Maxed out in HP from both fighters. Maxed out in flowers. We're good to go. 997. 998. 999. Glavin! 1,000! 1,000 yeah, <laughs> 1, arrows! For cover they run! Yeah! Thunder says yes! Yeah! Yeah! Another 1,000 I will shoot! Mario, who is that guy? He must be the one shooting arrows at Rosetown! Say hello to Bowyer. Happy I am! Yeah! Look! Look at their expressions when freeze they do! Woohoo! They're standing like statues! Yeah! What more practice do I need? Oh no! He's not stopping! We've gotta do something! Who do you think you are, Bruce Lee? You can't just go in there with your fist flying! There's too many of them! We'll be creamed! Oh no! Someone's coming! Let's hide and see if we can learn anything! <gasps> Look what I found, Boyer! What? What? Disturb me you must not! Practicing I am! More arrows must I shoot! More statues must I make! Yeah! Stop! Hold it right there! You don't know what you're doing! Return that star to me! Yeah, yeah. A stranger you are, and strange looking at that! Teach you we must who's in charge! It's go time. Yeah? And who might you be? Hi, sir. A higher authority. That star piece belongs to everyone. You can't keep it! Yeah! Yeah! Angry I am! Yeah! A lesson I will teach you! And then Boya proceeds to fire a bunch more arrows at Rose Town, one after another. Hey! Chill out! Mario! It's dangerous out there! You're gonna help, huh? Whack that weirdo! Save the guy in blue! Me too! I will do what I can! But from over here! Don't! Are you sure? You better start running, dude! I'm not afraid! And I'm not gonna cry! Ouch! Mal is left in the dirt, and Mario is dodging arrow after arrow, making his way to that weirdo. But he's not showing any signs of letting up, and Gino's just about had enough. Stop it! That's enough! Yet! Nyah! Nyah! Strong you are, but stronger am I! Hurt you, I will! So long! Yeah! Part now we must! Uh oh. This guy means business. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, I'm sorry. You've been denied. <laughs> Thanks for the help. But. Who are you? <sighs> Mario! You just dished me back there! Huh? Don't I know you? You look familiar. Ah, so you're the Mario. We know about you. Knock, knock! Yeah! Insulted I am! And now, it's time for the fight with Boyer. You start with Gino, and to begin, pull out the Gino Beam. You hold down for power, and when you get three stars, let go, and let her rip. You do 60 damage, which is close to 10% of his total HP. As for Mario, now's a good time to test out the super jump. Watch out below! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah. Next time, I'm not gonna bother counting. That just threw me off. As for Mallow, don't bother using magic. Hit him with a stick. Yeah! Now three against one! Not fair! Fix it, I will! Yeah! 
Shoot an arrow, I shall. When a target it hits, that button locked. Rinse and repeat. Use the Geno Beam and power up to three stars. One, two, three. Eat laser scumbag. And now I'm gonna try and jump as many times as I can, but this time I'm not gonna keep count. Focus mode. Much better! Now, take a whack. And that was much better, too! Okay, there goes my attack button. Uh oh! Sheesh! That took a lot off of Geo, but I've still got plenty of FP to use. So, eat this! By the power of the stars, I sentence you to die! Well, we still got a whole lot to do. He will be worn down in no time. Not bad. Could have been better. But Mallow, you better heal Gino up and fast. What do you got, Boyer? Is that all the choice you got? You son of a bitch! You know what? I'm gonna keep Mallow as a healer. Smile! <laughs> oh crap, Mario's out. So it looks like we have to use something. Might regret doing this, but at this point in time, I don't really care. I'll probably find a whole lot more in the future. Let's see how much he's got left. What's he thinking? Left. What's with these folks? There goes my magic. Please hit Mallow. Please hit Mallow. Unaffected. Alright. And now for the fist of death. Combine that with a shell. And a big stick to the face. Not quite enough, it seems. Oh man, but he got Mario. No, that's not gonna stop us. Eat fist. Mel, finish him off. Huzzah! We are victorious. Boyer crumbles faster than the Berlin Wall. And quite the lucrative fight, too. 20 experience, 50 coins, and a flower box. And fun was had by all. <laughs> Hey, thanks for the help. You really got me out of a jam. Why are you staring at me? You know I'm more than just a doll, don't you? Smile and nod. Have you guessed the truth? I'm a visitor from above, baby. And this is a form I'm borrowing briefly. You mean like in the sky or something? Higher than that, I'm afraid. Do you two know anything about the Star Road? Hmm. Completely in the dark, eh? Well, it's a big mess up there right now, and it concerns you too. Let me explain. <clears throat> You've heard of wishing upon a shooting star. At the star road, your wish is transformed into a star. When it is granted, it then turns into a shooting star and falls down to Earth. So you see, the star road plays an integral role in granting wishes. But ever since the sword destroyed the star road, everything's come to a halt, baby. No stars have been made since. The way things stand, Yours is a world where wishes can't come true anymore. Are you saying this star is part of your starway? That's Star Road, my fluffy little friend. Yes. That star is a broken piece of the Star Road. I'm here to find them all and repair the Star Road. The broken star pieces. There were seven altogether. For peace to return, we must get rid of Smithy, find the star pieces, and repair the Star Road. I'm... But it's hard for now, so... Call me Gino, after the doll. I chose him because he looked the strongest out of all the dolls. Yeah, and because he didn't want a Mario clone, a Bowser clone, or a to... Oh wait, shouldn't talk about that. No one should know too much about the future. If Dr. Ember Brown has taught me anything, knowing too much about your own future, even if it's good, can create a time paradox that could potentially destroy the universe and all life as we know it. 
But that's just me thinking out loud. Now grab that star, Mario. You bet, buddy. And so after all that time fighting in the forest, we found our second star piece. And it looks like one of the flunkies is still hanging around. But we better dispose of him once we get the star sent up to the sky. But then again, he's not really doing anything, so... What's a couple more minutes to let him live? Huzzah! Mario takes hold of the second star. And we are one step closer to repairing the star road entirely. Two down, five to go. Come on, let's get the show on the road. Gino, who is searching for the pieces of the star road, joins Mario and Mallow. Things are definitely looking up. Ooh, I heard everything! Who would have known that star was so important? I'd go to inform Smithy! The secret to the shooting stars has been unraveled. Find the star pieces and bring peace back to Mario's world. Alright, let's get out of this dreadful forest. I've had enough adventure for six lifetimes. And now, let's head back to Rosetown and see if things are any better. Well, now this is a more lively tune. I like it. Everyone's moving about, no arrows are flying, and everyone's nice and happy. I like the way things have turned. I think for now, we're going to call it a video, so thanks for watching part 6 of Super Mario RPG. When we come back, we're going to return to the inn, talk to Gaz, and then make our way west. Until then, this is Jeremy saying, as always, I love you all, rock on, and I'll see you next time.